I'm Bobby Dean, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. So what's next for Amir Khan? What is he uh, working on right now? Do you know? Well, you know, we're looking for an April date. My suggestion to him that he needs a fight, that uh, he needs to put the last one behind him. Just don't jump into another fight like he did with uh, Canelo. And for the record, I was totally against that fight. Mm. I did not want it. Uh, you know, but unfortunately, with some other people that uh, was able to get in his head and have him take the fight. And he didn't want the fight either, you know. But um, it happened. Uh, and he certainly and didn't want it at that high weight class because right. I remember he and said it that. Should, it shouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. You know, it just shouldn't have happened. Yeah. Well, hey, what? Know, Go ahead. But, you know, uh, he, he proves again what he always proves. He will fight you. He ain't scared of you. You know, he a knockout or whatever, that don't faze him. He's one of the rare kids I've seen that knockout just don't faze. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he's able to get it past it. But I'd like to see. He hadn't even fought in a year and, and 15 months before he fought Camilla. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He goes straight to Canelo. Yeah. Which was, you know, that was just and was no when, concessions at all. Man, and was winning yeah. the fight. But if it wasn't for yeah. the weight deficit, you know. Well, in the, in the, in the, uh, the, the no rules, no margin for error. In a fight like that, you have to have some sort of margin for error. Yes. He had none. Yes. No weight, mar he had no margin for error. He had to fight a perfect fight. And... Up until the punch landed, and he was doing it. Uh -huh. You know, the game plan was to make Canelo throw, give him only one punch at a time, do not stop on the ropes, keep him in the middle of the ring, set a good pace, try to get him deep into the rounds, and if he starts getting a little tired, then start putting your blistering combinations together. Other than that, keep it one and two. You know, and he was doing it. But, you know, he made... One little mistake that comes from concentration. Yeah. You know, the, the focus, the IQ, you know, not being in the gym in a year and a year and a half and not being allowed to be a fighter like he's supposed to be. Other people tugging on him and pulling on him and capitalizing on him and things like that. And, um, you know, it was just not good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but he rectified all of that. Um, and he made a lot of changes for the better. And so because he made those changes, um, I'm still committed to him. Okay. And I'm supposed to have um, Chris Algieri on my show next week. There was rumors mm -hmm. that Chris Algieri may end up facing off with your boy Andre Berto. Have you heard anything about that? I heard that name too. Um, I have to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. But I did it. Now, Jerry's name did um, come up. I don't know how it'll be now because Al Jerry is going to be Jacob's cook. Yeah, you said what? He's, he's going to be Jacob's cook and nutritionist. So, really? Wow. Yeah. That's... Well, he's got a master's degree in that. Yeah, you know? yeah, so, yeah. That's that's pretty cool. So, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So they figured it out. and So I don't know how much. You know, that'll happen now. Wow. You know, but um, Al Jerry needs a good fight. Berto needs a good fight. But I just want to see good fights. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.